Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you where you can find three new pieces of armor in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I'm currently wearing one of them right now, which is the Barbarian Armor, so we can take a look at these real quick. Uh, so when wearing this one, you can actually see one of the benefits is that it increases your attack power. Uh, the next one is the Climbing Gear. Uh, when wearing that, it's going to increase your climbing efficiency. And then the last one is the Rubber Armor, which you can see increases your shock resistance. So. Uh, all three of these are kind of part of a side quest. I don't think it's officially a side quest, but it basically is, uh, called Misko's Treasure. And so I'll be going into that and then showing you where all these are found and how you can get these for yourself. So starting off, um, I don't think this part is technically required in order to do this, but this is how you find the location of these three pieces of armor. Uh, and this is how I stumble across it, is you will see this person called Mishi running down this path here. So kind of down this path towards the uh, woodland stable here. Uh, this is where we're at on the map uh, for reference. Uh, if you talk to her, she'll mention this Misko's treasure, uh, kind of go through a dialogue, and then she'll mark three locations on the map for you where these pieces are found. So uh, I've completed it, so those check marks are no longer available, but I uh, put treasure chests there in their place. So uh, we've got one that's located here. Um, there is another one located here. And then finally, the third one is located uh, up here. So we'll go through each of these locations. Uh, each one of these is a cave. So we'll walk through the cave and then actually show you where the item is actually physically located in each one of these caves. So starting off with probably the most straightforward and easy one is the climbing gear. Uh, and that's located on the map here. Uh, so for reference, what's sort of northwest of central Hyrule. Um, it's in this uh, north Hyrule plain cave. Uh, there's also the new Serene Stable right next to it and the Shrine if you want to fast travel if you have that one uh, completed already. So um, one thing about this is you'll notice there's two entrances. So we're kind of at the main entrance right here. However, this is kind of a hidden back entrance. And taking this entrance is going to make this much more easier. So we're going to head to that one instead. So really just kind of a run uh, back here uh, to this back entrance. All right. So after we've ran for about 10 seconds or so, you'll find this hole. Uh, and that'll just drop you right into the cave. So we'll do that here real quick. Uh, it's going to put you in this uh, little river here. And then, uh, like I said, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to fall down this waterfall. And then go through the waterfall. And that's going to lead into this secret room where you will find this chest. Uh, it's no longer there. But once you open that chest, that's where you'll find the climbing gear armor. Next, we'll look at the location for the Barbarian Armor. So on the map here, I don't have this area revealed yet, but it is the Crenel Hills Cave. And this is where we're located on the map here. So again, it's kind of reference, it's northeast of central Hyrule in this area here. So you'll come to this area. There's this cave that you can walk into. Uh, this one, again, fairly straightforward, uh, a little bit more hidden, I think, this time around. Uh, and there is a, um, a stone talus monster in the central part of the cave here. Uh, I, it's not required that you defeat him, but he will give you some trouble if you uh, go over there and sort of uh, poke him a little bit. So um, again, you can't avoid that. What you're going to be looking for, I have this all cleared out, but there's lots of rocks and stuff uh, that you'll need to destroy. And there will be uh, a bunch of rocks right here covering this uh, entrance to this part of the cave. So you'll need to uh, explode that. With, I used bombs just to sort of clear this area out. Once that's cleared out, uh, you, you can then make your way into this portion of the cave where again there's kind of another hidden similar looking area uh, with a treasure chest where you'll find the barbarian armor and then wrapping things up finally we've got the rubber armor so again going into the location first uh, this is where we're at on the map here it is in this uh, whistling hill cave uh, right uh, north of this Tenetin shrine so if you have that active pretty quick fast travel and then just head north a little bit uh, again, using Central Hyrule as a reference is just straight south of that. So this is where that one's located. Uh, when you get to this area, big giant rock, uh, here's the entrance to the cave. So this one's probably the most uh, time intensive, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty deep in there. So uh, there are some enemies and like-likes and things that you'll need to deal with. Um, so basically just sort of some navigation through this cave. Uh, there's some, you know, things that you can sort of explore around with and whatnot, but we'll just head kind of straight there. So. Uh, first off, we're just going to make our way down through here, and then uh, you'll kind of have two different uh, places that you can go explore. Uh, the first one up here, I believe that was just a 
there's like an item here or something, I think. But uh, you want to make your way over to this other side so we can climb up there. And then once we get into this area, there's going to be an electric uh, and this guy too. I forgot about this guy. So um, the way I dealt with this guy, I didn't even worry about um, fighting him. I just used the rewind or whatever it's called on this this thing. So <laughs> kind of rewind that back up into his mouth while uh, he's throwing rocks. That kind of deals with that. Uh, and then there's another one on an electric like like that uh, will be blocking the entrance to where the the rubber armor is. So I honestly, I just sort of avoided this guy. I didn't even deal with trying to kill him and uh, kind of just make quick work of that. So you just kind of run in there and then here is where the, the secret room is where the rubber armor will be found. So here's the chest where it would be uh, and then that's where you can get the rubber armor. So uh, those are the three pieces of armor. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and we will see you later. Bye.